My name is Dmitry Belovsky. I work in Red Hat. Uh, I'm principal software engineer and maintain such packages as OpenSSL, OpenSSH, and some minor ones. I also am involved in OpenSSL uh, technical uh, uh, committee. It's a, a team of people who determines uh, the technical perspective of OpenSSL development. And my current work in Red Hat is uh, related to so-called uh, post-quantum transition. Uh, first, uh, let me remind why do we need uh, post-quantum transition at all. Well, there is a wide consensus that uh, traditional cryptography will be completely broken uh, when uh, qu uh, quantum computer uh, happen uh, to be invented and work successfully. Nobody knows uh, what will be uh, before quantum computers uh, called fusion, uh, superconductivity, and uh, many, many other things. All, all they will happen in the uh, nearest 20 years for, uh, for almost half a century. Uh, but, uh, well, if uh, they are invented, uh, if quantum computers are invented, uh, it means that, uh, for example, uh, pre recorded sessions. Uh, can be deciphered and uh, all the secret uh, transmitted currently becomes available. And uh, there are worldwide uh, uh, trends to design new quantum resistance, uh, cryptography algorithms, post quantum algorithms. Uh, the, uh, these terms are basically synonyms. And uh, the transition is inevitable. So there are several sources of uh, standards uh, that are relevant for post-quantum algorithms. First, uh, the most important is NIST, uh, American Standard Institute that uh, has chosen several algorithms to be standardized and widely used. Uh, then uh, IETF uh, is going to standardize using these algorithms in protocols. So there are several working groups working on it. Uh, for uh, hardware such as HSM, tokens, and uh, so on and so forth, um, uh, the relevant source of standard is OASIS group. Uh, well, uh, and uh, currently we get in a quite strange situation. Uh, we don't know why do we have to trust um, the freshly developed standards, right? Well, uh, classical cryptography, as I mentioned, is expected to be broken. And new schemas, uh, well, we really can't trust it uh, until uh, proper evaluation. And for example, one of uh, algorithms, one of set of algorithms, uh, security is again a based, uh, which uh, w was expected to be qu quantum protected, but uh, it was broken using cl classical math. Uh, though it w was uh, on the third uh, round of uh, NIST competition. And uh, most of, of post-quantum solutions uh, introducing now will be so-called hybrid solutions when we use uh, together post-quantum algorithms and uh, classical cryptography and hope that uh, they will not be broken simultaneously. Okay, when we introduce uh, new algorithms, uh, we will uh, definitely have problems. So first, uh, cl classical set of problems is compatibility problems. Uh, well, uh, no, uh, there will be implementation differences, implementation bugs, and so on and so forth. Then uh, you have a lot of hardware that uh, will not properly recognize the new algorithms, uh, middle boxes, uh, and so on and so forth. Again, let, let me remind that, uh, for example, design of uh, TLS 1.3 protocol was uh, significantly reworked when uh, it was found out that a middle box effectively block a lot of uh, traffic uh, because, well, we don't know what the traffic let's block it. And uh, what uh, is most important, that uh, post-quantum algorithms have uh, big uh, key sizes. Uh, for example, if uh, RSA uh, keys uh, with uh, 3K bits uh, have, well, uh, less than uh, 400 bytes, uh, both uh, signature and uh, uh, the key, 
uh, well, for uh, for example, for the lithium, as you see, it's uh, more than one uh, kilobyte per key and uh, more than uh, two kilobytes per signature. And uh, well, it's not the highest uh, size of signature. It's not the highest level of security. So be you should be prepared to the bigger sizes. And of course, uh, new algorithms uh, will have slower performance, and you also should be ready that some of your devices will uh, require some changes. Okay, now let's switch to uh, to uh, network-specific problem. And first uh, problem I'm going to speak about is amplification attacks. Right, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have uh, bigger uh, certificates, uh, bigger keys, and uh, so UDP-based protocols uh, such as Squeak uh, will uh, uh, gen generate a bigger response uh, to their request. Well, okay, in theory, uh, Quick specification implies that you should not uh, Send us, us uh, three more, uh, three times uh, more, more than three times bigger response uh, uh, to, to a request, but uh, in practice it causes extra communication, uh, and uh, nobody implements uh, this uh, limitation. So, so it means that uh, servers, uh, that quick servers, become. Uh, uh, very suitable for amplification attacks uh, using post-quantum cryptography. And uh, the estimation, I don't remember exact values, I, uh, to, uh, I think 20 to 50 coefficient of amplification. Uh, DTLS uh, doesn't have a uh, uh, DTLS protocol, also UDP based, does not have a requirement. Uh, it has a recommendation uh, which is also not implemented, and uh, also post quantum uh, certificate chains uh, will allow to uh, generate big response uh, for uh, relatively small requests. Uh, the next problem uh, traditional to networks is uh, uh, congestion. So the evolution of uh, uh, congestion window is uh, that uh, started from uh, t t 1 uh, to 10 uh, maximum segment size and now CDNs uh, often provide uh, bigger uh, segment size, uh, big congestion window, but uh, again, uh, for uh, post-quantum certificates, and especially for certificate chains, uh, it will not be enough, and it also will cause slowdown. Uh, it can be partially resolved by, for example, caching intermediate certificates, but uh, we can say it's a universal solution. Uh, also, uh, DTLS uh, does not care about congestion. Uh, Quick uh, has its own uh, congestion specification, and uh, well, it will also interfere with um, uh, other rec uh, other Quick uh, recommendation. But uh, it's hardly. Po I'm not sure that anyone has uh, implemented uh, this recommendation. So. It uh, will be a uh, it uh, requires extra research, and a separate slide is dedicated to my beloved uh, protocol DNSSEC. It's uh, all-in-one uh, sh shooting your leg protocol. Uh, so again, we have uh, we still ha have a big potential for uh, network amplifi for amplification attack because uh, small requests uh, generate uh, large response, and uh, also post, uh, post quantum algorithms currently going to be standardized don't uh, I I imply very big. Uh, uh, record signature, which uh, does not fit a, uh, does not uh, fit one UDP packet. Uh, the NSO so, uh, is uh, also not a solution, and uh, there is uh, already a pr proposal uh, to. 
uh, may uh, to split uh, 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 signatures uh, into several packets, but it requires to uh, make DNS server stateful, which, uh, well, is uh, really not an option. And also extra research is needed. Okay, now uh, when I told about the upcoming risks, so let me uh, say, say that uh, our Fedora distribution has already uh, included uh, the several uh, post-quantum algorithms. Uh, we use uh, LibOQS uh, for, uh, and uh, well, you can install Fedora for free and uh, use it for your uh, post-quantum experiments if you want. We uh, have not la latest version in the Fedora 39, like the stable version, but uh, we expect uh, to update uh, Fe uh, Fedora Rawhide, the development version, to the newest versions uh, relatively soon. <coughs> and finally, uh, he, uh, for those who download this presentation, you will find uh, several uh, links uh, to the standards, uh, and I strongly recommend uh, this uh, vision, uh, vision paper, uh, do we need uh, to change uh, some things? I heavily related uh, on this paper to uh, pre preparing this presentation, and uh, for real network engineers, I'm not a network engineer, uh, I think it's a must uh, to read this paper and uh, to, be pre uh, to be well prepared. Also, I recommend the IETF uh, document, uh, IETF draft uh, research agenda for uh, post-quantum DNSSEC, which covers several aspects of uh, uh, post-quantum cryptography affecting DNSSEC. Thank you very much. Feel free to ask questions. Thanks a lot. Are there any questions? There is one. Sergey is asking, does the low attention to PQC in IETF working groups reflect the strife to solve real but not the non-existing problems? Uh, let me disagree that uh, IETF uh, has uh, low attention uh, because, well, uh, currently uh, there is a dedicated uh, working group uh, for post-quantum transition that will uh, uh, cover any, any protocols that uh, don't have uh, sp uh, specialized working groups. And there is a gazillion of uh, drafts in the old security area uh, IETF working groups, uh, in TLS, in uh, LAMPS, uh, I think uh, in uh, IPsec, uh, and uh, I mentioned the draft uh, related to, to DNSSEC, so uh, the question statement is just uh, incorrect, sorry. Okay, any other question? Okay, follow-up question, I guess. So, um, uh, that, that, that was my question, by the way. Um, which protocol set, uh, as for you, is better prepared for the PQC? Well, I'd say, uh, I'd say TLS is uh, pre prepared uh, good enough. Uh, but again, uh, as it's uh, you, as it's relies on the TCP, we will uh, ha we will probably have to uh, well, not we, uh, network engineers will have to uh, deal with uh, new cases uh, to turn uh, congestion uh, for uh, new reality. All right. I don't see any other questions, so thank you very much. Thank you.